Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, it's Swan here, and uh, so basically, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be trying out some uh, some button binds that other YouTubers have been posting and saying that like you know they think it's the best. I'm here just trying them out, seeing seeing what I think about them. Uh, I just basically searched how I went about this. Is I just searched on YouTube uh, button bindings for console and. I basically just clicked on the ones with the most influence, ones with the most views, and so I'm just going to try out a few people's button binds and see what I think about them, kind of give you a look at a bunch of different kinds that you can try, and I actually wrote down everyone's name that uh, I use the button binds for, so Direct is the first one, it's the first video that showed up for me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try his out first. So basically, his binds are as so. They are so the map doesn't change from what I use. I use right on the D-pad for map, and he does too. The one that just baffles me is the the jump button. So he jumps with the left stick. I guess this is I. Some people have been doing this. Some people have been doing this for a while. Um, I'm not one of those people. I don't. I, I don't like that. I, I like jumping with X. Uh, I've since I've been cl playing Claw for so long. I ever since Call of Duty trick shotting, I've always been jumping with X. So that's just that's just a universal jump button. That's like the space bar on on PC controls. Um, but that's jump in these settings. Uh, the the edit button is actually X over here, and then. What's the other one? Switch mode instead of switch mode slash edit is circle. So these are his binds and we're going to uh, we're going to try them out. See what we think. Uh, I can already tell I'm not really used to this whole jumping thing with the stick. Like I said, but you know what? If you're used to it, that's those are the people who should try it out. If you're not, I would recommend that you just stick to jumping with X. But anyways, here we go. Let's just do uh, some some pyramid edits. See, okay, yep, right off the bat, I can't. Yep, okay, there we go. Yep, yep, we're 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 looking good. Okay, now now our pyramids all screwed up. Okay, let's fix that. And let's, let's sorry, that was see, it's I don't know, I don't know about this one. I've tried it out already a little bit off when I wasn't recording, but. Uh, with this uh, A X button, A for uh, A for Xbox, but Ooh. okay. All right, so one of the best ways to practice getting a feel for your, your new bindings is doing these towers where you build a basically a one by one and make sure there's a there's a floor and a stair between each one, and it'll practice doing different edits in a quick amount of time. These aren't situations you're always going to have to use in actual games, but it, it just helps you get a feel for it. And uh, let's just try it out. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so first try at it. It's really not that bad for editing, I guess, like that, because you know the the X and circle are so close together, and it makes it pretty easy, if, especially if you play claw. To well, you kind of have to play claw to do this, I guess. But uh, being able to uh, click the button so close together, it is nice. It, it would take a while to get used to, but uh, once again, I don't like the whole idea of jumping with the left stick and not having X as my jump. So, hey, try it at your own risk. I'm um, not saying, once again, I'm not saying this is a wrong way to, to bind your buttons, but this one's this one's definitely not for me, but it, it I understand. All right, this next one's a little bit different. So, uh, combat controls, he has it. So, so when you're not in builder, pro, builder mode, because they're a little bit different with his settings, uh, L is like L3. 
click down on the left stick is reload slash interact so like open doors revive people reload with the l stick which i've actually thought about trying out just to free up square but once again since i play claw which he probably does too i i just i just like using this is reload this has always been reload once again like a universal reload like i'm pretty sure the r button on pc is that but uh switch mode circle jump is regular which i like and then edit is square since he freed it up with the reload and then once you go into build controls one thing changes uh trap picker place slash interact is now in the left stick which was the whole reload thing so basically he just completely switched square with the left stick in both build and combat controls so let's uh let's try this one out i guess see see how it goes okay uh, uh. okay so this one i actually like i'm getting the hang of a lot faster than uh than uh, the last one but uh hold on i don't know how people do see i'm not like the fastest editor but i don't know how people do floors and triangles all in one like i i don't know i i'm just not quick enough it, maybe it's just the specific edit binds but uh this one i can already tell i like more than editing with x not just because the whole jump thing but it just feels better because it's a little bit more spread apart and i don't have to go down quite as much to hit the x button uh I, it's like parallel with circle which is confirm edit so it makes it a little bit easier to uh kind of just go side to side with you with my pointer finger playing claw if that makes any sense but let's make a quick tower and I also don't like, I, I don't like the reloading with this. Like I said, universal reload button. Gotta be square, but I get it. All right, let's see, let's see how we like this one. Ah, okay, uh, it, it felt a little bit better than, uh, than the X edit, like I said, I, I just don't like the X edit, so I get this one, if you're down to switch the reload, I think switching reload with the, with the L3 clicking right on the right stick is a little bit easier to get used to than, than jumping with the left stick, so if that's something you're interested in, I think that's, I think that's cool. And the whole trap placements. So, like, if you're gonna place a launch pad, you just have to double click the the left stick, which is it's cool. It's cool. It works. Um, so this but I I don't mind this button binding. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. By the way, I totally I totally uh, forgot to say the last one was by a guy named Triple, Triple Triple. I think it's Triple. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This one, these are the new binds from, from Swavy Lewis, Swavy Louie. Um, I can tell right off the rip, I don't like these. Um, once again, personal preference, but he has toggle pickaxes right on the D-pad, which I, I, I just can't do that. I have to have my pickaxe right there because I switched to it so much, constantly. Whenever I loot something, I switch to it, pick up everything, and I just I, I'd have to take my left thumb off the off the stick to tap that, and it just do, doesn't feel right. But anyways, pickaxe is right there. Uh, switch mode as triangle and edit as circle. So hold on, let me put this let me put reload back on as square. Okay, so. Switch mode is triangle, which is uh, a little bit interesting. Edit as circle. So does that mean I confirm? Hold on, let me let me check this out. So put this there. Edit with that. Okay, I can just confirm with the. Okay, I actually kind of like that. 
So, put that there. Edit. Can you? Okay. Yeah. You have to confirm with with circle. So you can you can edit. You click edit to to edit with circle, and then you confirm it with circle. So that's nice. That's real nice. So that that's already a big plus on this one, to be honest. But um, once again, okay. Yeah. This is gonna be really easy to get used to. Uh, you know, editing wise. Yeah, that pickaxe is gonna mess me up. I, I don't like I don't like having the pickaxe. I like having the pickaxe like right in reach at all times. So that's that's like my only downside on this one so far. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Yeah, you can do this pretty quick. You can do it pretty quick this is like my first run at it and I can already feel like editing is super easy with it and I, I actually really like it so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the tower which is easily gonna be my best one out of these new binds for sure like without a doubt Okay, well, that was easily the best one. Like I said, I had a feeling that would be, but once again, I couldn't do these settings just because I need my pickaxe. I need it on triangle, and it's really unfortunate, but damn, I would love to be able to just edit and, and not have to put switch mode on, something like that. I don't know. I like it. I do like it. So shout out Swavy Louie, I think. I think that's how you say it. Uh, you got some, you got some good binds, I think, and personally, I think so. And so, if you're if you're someone who doesn't really use their pickaxe that, much, I mean, you use your pickaxe and stuff, but you don't, you're not constantly like whipping it out. Um, these key binds, try them. Like, really, I really recommend these ones. But anyways, I hope this uh, helped you guys out. This was just kind of. Uh I just wanted to try a bunch of stuff because th doing this video helps me try a bunch of new things and learn what I like because I probably would have never seen Louis' video if I hadn't uh, thought about doing this like as a video. So uh, this kind of helped me get a feel for other button binds I can try out and kind of mess around with. So I hope this helped. I hope this kind of helped with a comparison between button binds that you could do. Uh, so anyways, drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.